During the heyday of 90s sitcoms, Saved by the Bell won over the hearts of millions across the globe with its youthful spirit and relatable portrayal of high school life. Mark Paul Gossler, who skillfully portrayed the ever-charming Zach Morris, became a household name. In this video, we'll take a look at Gosler's recent reflections on certain regrettable episodes while highlighting his onset romance. Facts First presents Mark Paul Gosler on the Saved by the Bell scene he still regrets. These episodes aged poorly. Cultural norms and viewpoints regarding what was considered appropriate have undeniably shifted significantly over the years. The changing terrain was something Mark Paul Gosler, who rose to fame as Zach Morris, has grappled with, particularly when revisiting some of the older episodes of the series. The charm and wit that once defined his character are now scrutinized more critically, as certain narratives appear glaringly inappropriate by today's criteria. In a frank discussion on the Pod Meets World podcast, Gosler recently discussed some storylines he found particularly difficult to align with the prevailing cultural atmosphere. A specific case was an episode from 1989 called The Lisa Card, where Zack orchestrated non-consensual kisses with Lisa Turtle. This plotline, which essentially objectified a young woman without her consent, resonated rather unpleasantly when reassessed on Mark's very own Zack to the Future podcast, a venture he initiated with Dashiell Driscoll. Together, the two former co-stars have repeatedly stressed that such behavior was not supported by either of them, but rather is something to be analyzed to highlight previous errors. And Gosler acknowledged the insensitivity in depicting Zach Morris falsely asserting Native American ancestry in the now infamous episode Running Zach. This storyline, featuring Zach in a comprehensive Native American headdress, was yet another vivid example of content that would not be welcomed in today's inclusive and conscious entertainment sphere. Mark's Biggest Regret in a candid conversation with Fox News in 2019, Mark Paul Gosler opened up about the winding road of his career and the earnest advice he offers his children, who seem to be heading towards the spotlight like their father. While promoting his then-upcoming role in ABC's family sitcom Mixed-ish, Gosler shared a heartfelt reflection on his youthful start in the entertainment industry. He expressed a deeply rooted desire that his children carve a path distinctly their own before even considering stepping into the limelight. Despite Despite their budding talents in theater and dance, he fervently encourages them to explore their passions fully and prioritize their education. Looking back, his most lingering regret stems from not advancing his education beyond high school, a consequence of his early initiation into the world of acting. He said, quote, if there's one regret I have, there's many regrets, but if there's one regret from being on a show at such a young age, it's that I didn't get a further education other than high school and I'd love for my kids to do that. Parenthood has not only brought Gosler moments of immense joy, but also periods of self-doubt as he navigates the complex terrains of fatherhood. He jokingly mentioned in that interview how he often goes to bed thinking he could do better, despite probably doing a great job as a parent. Through the experience of parenting, he's continually learning and striving to be a better person, finding unparalleled joy in seeing the world anew through his children's eyes. Reflecting on his younger days, Gosler recounted the invaluable lessons he gleaned during his time in the limelight. Remaining grounded and true to his roots played a pivotal role in shaping the person he is today. Even amidst the glamour and adulation, having a group of friends who kept him grounded became his anchor, ensuring he had a safe place to return to away from the glittering facade of Hollywood. In his professional journey, Gosler also touched upon his stint on NYPD Blue, a role that allowed him to shed the persona built from his days on Saved by the Bell. Although initially filled with doubt and grappling with the negative opinions circulating online, with time and mentorship from industry stalwarts, he found his footing, growing more comfortable and confident in his skin. Mark's Onset Romance During the run of Saved by the Bell, it wasn't just Zack and Kelly who were a hot item. Sparks were also flying off screen. In a candid chat on Anna Faris's Unqualified podcast, Mark Paul Gosler revealed that there was a time when he and his co-star, Elizabeth Berkley, were romantically linked. Recollecting his past, he shared, You know how it is. When you're working on a set, especially at our young age, it feels like you're living in a bubble. In the bustling city of L.A., Gosler's life was predominantly confined to the set and his car, leaving little room for a conventional dating experience. He noted, quote, 
You're in your cars and you come to the set and you do your work and you're with these beautiful women and then you go back to your car and you're not going to school so you don't have a lot of choices. A teenage Gosler, driven to the set daily by his mother, didn't have many opportunities to venture out. The closeness on set fostered connections. And as Gosler candidly admitted in a 2009 interview with People magazine during a 20-year reunion special, quote, all of us dated at one point or another, it was incestuous. Despite these flings, Gosler was notably settled down at a young age, marrying Lisa Ann Russell at age 22, a relationship that spanned 14 years. Currently, he enjoys marital bliss with Catriona McGinn. During the height of his fame, Gosler, who evidently prefers to be addressed as MP, was one of the biggest TV stars, a status hard to quantify in an era devoid of social media. The ultimate recognition came from gracing the cover of Teen Beat or being spotted in malls. Reflecting on his journey, the actor, who was only 12 when he started on Saved by the Bell and 19 when it concluded, shared that his real passion for acting ignited during the production of the College Years spinoff, a time when he earned a substantial amount. However, the end of that chapter brought uncertainty, pushing him to explore other avenues like car detailing with his cousin, an experience he acknowledges as a humbling phase in his life. Mark's post saved by the bell life and career. At age 49, Mark Paul's journey in the entertainment industry continues to flourish. In recent years, he's taken on a riveting role in NBC's drama Found. In this series, he portrayed a character known simply as Sir, a man with a dark past who finds himself entwined with Gabby Mosley, played by Shinola Hampton a public relations pro with a personal vendetta. Although he's clearly carved out his niche in Hollywood, Gosler's journey didn't simply leap from teenage sitcom to intense drama. Over the years, he has successfully maneuvered through a spectrum of roles, showcasing his versatility. His acting journey saw him delve into the gritty world of crime in Law & Order Special Victims Unit in 2001, followed by a significant stint as Detective John Clark in NYPD Blue until 2005. His ability to swing between lighthearted and serious roles was further demonstrated when he starred in the buddy comedy Franklin and Bash, which aired for four seasons starting in 2011. Even as he explored different avenues, Gosler didn't stray far from his roots. In 2020, fans were treated to a nostalgic trip when he reprised his role as Zach Morris in the refreshed version of Saved by the Bell on Peacock. This reprisal was a sweet nod to his origins, a testament to his long-standing career in showbiz, which now spans over three decades. Now it's time to hear from you. Are there specific episodes of Saved by the Bell that you found to be off-putting? Let us know in the comments section below.